Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 25 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, that they take an offering for me. From everyone whose heart makes them willing, you shall take my offering. This is an offering which you shall take from them gold, silver, brass, blue, purple, scarlet, fine linen, goat's hair, ramskins dyed red, sea cow hides, acacia wood, oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, onyx stones, and stones to be set, for the ephod, and for the best plate. Let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell among them, according to all that I show you the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all its furniture. Even so you shall make it. They shall make an ark of acacia wood. Its length shall be forty-five inches, its width twenty-seven inches, and twenty-seven inches its height. You shall overlay it with pure gold. You shall overlay it inside and outside, and you shall make a gold moulding around it. You shall cast four rings of gold for it, and put them in its four feet. Two rings shall be on the one side of it, and two rings on the other side of it. You shall make poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold. You shall put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark to carry the ark. The poles shall be in the rings of the ark, they shall not be taken from it. You shall put the testimony which I shall give you into the ark. You shall make a mercy seat of pure gold. Forty-five inches shall be its length, and twenty-seven inches its width. You shall make two cherubim of hammered gold. You shall make them at the two ends of the mercy seat. Make one cherub at the one end, and one cherub at the other end. You shall make the cherubim on its two ends of one piece of the mercy seat. The cherubim shall spread out their wings upward covering the mercy seat with their wings, with the faces towards one another. The faces of the cherubim shall be toward the mercy seat. You shall put the mercy seat on top of the ark, and in the ark you shall put the testimony that I will give you. There I will meet with you, and I will tell you from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim that are on the ark of the testimony, all that I command you for the children of Israel. You shall make a table of acacia wood, Thirty-six inches shall be its length, and eighteen inches its width, and twenty-seven inches its height. You shall overlay it with pure gold, and make a gold moulding around it. You shall make a rim of a hand width around it. You shall make a golden moulding on its rim, around it. You shall make four rings of gold for it, and put the rings in the four corners that are on its four feet. The rings shall be close to the rim. For places for the poles to cover the table. You shall make the poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold, that the table may be carried with them. You shall make its dishes, its spoons, its ladles, and its bowls to pour out offerings with. You shall make them of pure gold. You shall set the bread of the presents on the table before me always. You shall make a lampstand of pure gold. Of hammered work shall the lampstand be made, even its base its shaft, its cups, its buds, and its flowers, shall be of one piece with it. 
there shall be six branches going out of its sides, three branches of the lampstand out of both sides. On each branch there should be three cups made like almond blossoms in one branch, a bud and a flower. So for the six branches going out of the lampstand, and in the lampstand are four cups made like almond blossoms, its buds and its flowers. And each branch should be the same for the six branches going out of the lampstand. Their buds and the branches shall be of one piece with it, all of it one beaten work of pure gold. You shall make its lamps seven, and they shall light its lamps to give light to the space in front of it. Its snuffers and its snuff dishes shall be of pure gold. It shall be made of sixty-six pounds of pure gold, with all these accessories. See that you make them after their pattern, which has been shown to you on the mountain.